Hello and happy Friday. It is my favourite day of the week, you all know that. Um, welcome to a brand new day. The sun is shining and today's a chance to work your magic. Mm -hmm. um, I just wanted to speak to you about something today following a conversation that I had yesterday and it just reminded me how serious this is. When you're thinking about working on your mindset or mental health it's really, really important that you do your research right and i know it can be extremely overwhelming because there's so many people out there right and it's where do i start who do i go to right i have in the past and will always do this offer tips to anybody who's quite confused even if they're not going to come to me okay i think it's important that people get the right support i think you will be drawn once you've got that information you'll be drawn to the person you're supposed to go to anyway i have had over the years several people who have come to me following very very poor experiences of therapy so what they have done is they've gone to somebody and explained what's happening then they've started working with this person and what's happened is because the issues are so deep rooted they've ended up in a place where the therapist isn't qualified enough or experienced enough or knowledgeable enough in that area, which has then left the client in emotional disaster, okay? So it does happen. Now, I know a lot of very, very professional therapists that are very, very aware of what they can do and what they can't do, and that is what is a big, big strength in this line of work, right? A big, big strength is knowing what you can deal with and what's out of your area, out of your zone. Because when we're working with people, it's super, super important. When we're working with people's minds and mental health, it's super important that we're able to do what that client is looking for us to do. So it's a huge strength to be able to say, that's not something I can do, but I can put you in touch with someone who can do that, all right? Now, I think some people do it and they don't do it on purpose. They do it because they think they can deal with what is coming to them, but then they find out they can and then that's what's happening and the client's having a poor experience and then things are feeling even more disastrous. So... What are my top tips when you're looking to do any work on your mindset and mental health? Tip one is do your research, look up several therapists, find out what they do, even make some notes, find out what are their credentials, what are their experience, have a wee look on their social media pages, see what they talk about, get a feel for them, all right? Make some notes, write down some ideas that you're picking up from them. Maybe whittle it down to maybe between three and five. Okay? To research in detail. Tip number two is to take your time while considering. So don't just jump in the first person that you speak to, right? Now there's a balance here because if you take too much time, you procrastinate and then you don't do anything, right? So... Give yourself maybe, say, a week to do the research, a week to think about it, a week to gather as much information, get those feels to see who you're going to go to. And tip number three is know that you're worthy of change. Remind yourself that you are worthy of positive change. You are worthy of letting go of the pain. You are worthy of letting go of the emotional baggage and that uh, better times can be ahead. If you want to chat to me about anything I've spoken about today, you can email me brooke at brooklongmore.co.uk or you can visit my website www.brooklongmore.co.uk or you can drop me a private message. Have a fabulous Friday. Fabulous, fabulous, fabulous Friday. <laughs>